Queen. Calmar has been waiting very anxiously and has dominated the Metro Division. Totally this dominated. is the matchup that he's been waiting for the most. Ooh, he's taken them all on at once in a couple of these matches. I believe these two have been a part of a six-man scramble, but other than that, they've never met one-on-one -on -one with big points of stakes on the line. True, true. Marche ran in and Calmar brought up his boots in time. A big pick up and the tilt to world backbreaker. He nearly snapped Calmar in half. Yeah, Calmar no, maybe got him good, but I wouldn't say totally in half. Marche won this championship by defeating CJ Esparza. And he's champ for 120 days today. Marche wants a piece of Brubaker again. He doesn't care if his title's on the line or Brubaker's. They're going to pull apart brawl after their time limit draw in the past. Indeed. That was in February, I want to say. For some time ago. But both Marche Rocket and Brubaker are committed to being the main event and the top player in Chicago style wrestling. And it's been a literal back and forth struggle. Superstar of the past, and now he's a free agent stand, and he is one of the most desired stars in all of wrestling at this point. Line splash! Kalmar still standing. That's pretty shocking. Oh, Marche hurt himself. What a diving mistake! And Kalmar with that beautiful springing drop kick puts Marche down in the corner. Test the pain threshold of Marche Rocket. This is a division stand where it's no limits. If they want to take flight, if they want to go at a high rate of speed, if they want to dive, that's pretty much what this Metro Division is all about. And it's been open to any and all weight division stand. So although Marche is classified as a heavyweight, he is among the top in this division because of his great innovative high-flying offense and his explosiveness on his feet. And being one of the best in the world with two CSW title rings previously. Totaling out, combined, for 745 days of CSW champion. Calmar with deceptive strength. At any time, he could pick up Marche and dump him down. And But Kalmar went for the eyes and created distance. That's the thing with Kalmar Grimkill. He's so deceptively strong. Oh, wow. What a banging shot. Crazy. The air knocked out of Marche's lungs with the chest cracking blow. And Kalmar almost won the Metro Division Championship for good. That's the thing, man. You've got a guy who is a power wrestler, basically, and he's agile. This guy knocked out opponents before, and instead of covering them, yeah. he picked up dead in order to torture him some more. Kalmar has been virtually unbeatable in the Metro Division as of late. He's been a true threat in the division. Wins on Brad Kevins, Quinn Riddick, CJ Esparza, Brandon Espias Venosa, TJ Steele, Jack Shatter. And remember, he's known for that Blood Eagle submission, Stan. Yes. He has made several tap out of all shapes and sizes with that single hooking, grappling, taking, and that smothering attack from Marche, so explosive with his legs. Comes out of nowhere. Drop kicks Calamar right there and puts him down temporarily. How do you restrain Calamar, who's so violent with his ground and pound? A monster who loves abuse. This is a man that is an expert with weapons, has crazy markets, groans in approval of the disaster that he, he's involved in. Check this out. Diving cross body. Marche caught him. And Marche wants to keep Kalmar away from those ropes. Running Samoan drop. Nobody does it 
like Marche Rock. And the Metro Division champion almost retained right there. He's throwing his best moves at the guy. He still hasn't beaten him. That's a testament to, to the strength and resilience of Kelmar Grimkel. Wearing down your opponent by their head and neck. Both of these individuals love to do. Marche loves the M80, but Kelmar with that Blood Eagle submission will really torture the head and neck. And the arms. And Kalmar is groaning in approval now. He has stunned Marche and that head and neck happened to him. Check this out. That could be the end of the title reign for Marche right here. Oh. Two and seven eighths. The match continues. An excellent, innovative DDT drive. of our stars in CSW. As a matter of fact, Stan, he's already wrestled earlier tonight elsewhere before he even came here. That's how difficult his schedule is. So many physical tools. He's got the personality of the look to be a huge player. Roundhouse kick. Nice leg Larry by Marche. That might have been based off of instincts alone, Stan. I don't think Marche knows what planet he's on right now. He's dazed. The fans enjoy Marche Rocket, but I think they know Kalmar is a serious threat right here. Crushing clothesline by the champion to the challenger. And yet again, when you get Marche standing, he's real tough to stop. And we're going to tell the drop might be the signal for this. The scooping power slam. Kalmar the Raider, the number one contender. Marche Rocket, the champion. Kalmar pushes off. Marche holds on to the top rope. Kalmar tried to snap down Marche, but Marche used his grip strength and then Kalmar took the ball on the back of his head. That's why he just got ring belt. DDT not this time around. Nice counter. 